A Mercedes-Benz has always been a little different. Even during the company's early years, a visit to the racetrack would make this obvious. Mercedes-Benz legendary Silver Arrows made racing history. Many Mercedes engineers shared this enthusiasm for racing, two in particular. I met Alfrecht at Mercedes. We had the fight the first day we met because our temperaments are so different and because we had different roles. We benefited because BMW was building wild cars even in their normal series and because they supported tuners. And for Mercedes there was nobody who could do that. We built an engine for the racing department. That had to be done in addition to the other work. In the end, our customers more or less forced us to start a company. Before, we were working on cars at night, after work. But Aufrecht was the real driving force to start a business, and he convinced me, pleaded with me to do it. Melcher has so much intelligence, so much genius, that I knew I would be successful with him. We use a name that has both elements. The A stands for Aufrecht and the M for Melcher, and G is for Groß Aspach. I covered all the furniture in Aufrecht's apartment with drawings. I drew the direct injection on this improvised drawing board and built fixtures. And then, in Aufrecht's basement, we built the first direct injection designed outside of a large company, the 300 SE. In the beginning, our philosophy to listen to customers was not really being implemented by any of the large manufacturers. Today, almost everybody does it inherently. And in the mid-70s, we increasingly got requests that customers wanted exterior modifications, in addition to technology and we met them. The 300 SL 6.3 was the first car that really kicked in and with it suddenly a whole new group of customers. Our most successful car was the 6.8 liter that we built for Spa in 1971. This was a worldwide success. This was the beginning of a unique racing success story, one that is still continuing today. And then, starting in 1988, Mercedes-Benz contracted us to become active for them in the field of motorsports. AMG's racing version of the C-Class achieved over 60 victories, both in the German Touring Car Racing Series and in the ITC. The racing version of the CLK GTR added more great victories. And then we won the world championship with Schneider and Weber. We are the only manufacturer who ever won an entire series. In 1998, we won all 10 races, six of them with a 1-2 victory. That was probably the best experience for me, because it was the first time that we designed a complete car, from the design to the suspension. The DTM Racing Series was relaunched in the year 2000. Here, AMG plays a prominent role, even today, with Bernd Schneider, champion of multiple GT and DTM races, and ex-Formula One driver, John Alesi. Simultaneously, an official relationship with respect to tuning developed with Mercedes-Benz. In 1990, in Paris, we signed the contract. At that time, we were always saying that we have to become ready for the Mercedes star. That meant changing our development processes, changing quality control and vehicle quality in general. The idea that Daimler would get involved quickly became very obvious to us.
With AMG, Mercedes-Benz achieved a new dimension of sportiness. Vehicles whose design and performance set them apart from the company series models, making it possible to target new groups of potential customers. Today, AMG develops engines, transmissions, and vehicles of its own. For example, the well-known SLS AMG. The factory in Afaltabach has been extensively expanded and completely modernized. State-of-the-art technology is used to develop new vehicles. Every feature of the vehicle is influenced by AMG development and all functions must be tested and approved. All tests are identical to those performed on series vehicles. All over the world, these vehicles are subjected to extreme conditions. To this day, we adhere to the one man, one engine principle. Each engine is assembled by hand by a single mechanic. The company has added many new activities and institutions, such as the AMG Driving Academy. Modular driving training sessions are offered throughout the world. They provide the basis for safe, reliable operation of a high-performance vehicle at high speeds, training ambitious private citizens to become race car drivers, step by step. AMG has been successful in the German Touring Masters for many years. The safety and medical cars for Formula One racing serve as globally renowned ambassadors for the AMG performance brand. And since 2012, the company has had a presence in racing's top class with the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team. AMG has been involved in amateur racing since 2010 with the racing version of the SLS AMG. Now more than 30 teams on five continents are racing with the SLS AMG GT3. They have won more than 100 victories, including European FIA GT3 and the FIA GT1 World Championship. AMG wrote racing history by winning the Grand Slam with victories in all four endurance classics. Today, AMG is an established, high-performance brand with a comprehensive range of fascinating products that can be customized as desired in the AMG Performance Studio. The private lounge in Afaltabach attracts dedicated fans of car racing and visitors from all over the world find plenty of information in the showroom. Driving performance was what motivated the company's founders, Aufrecht and Melcher. And driving performance is still at the core of the AMG brand.